Christmas. It is the holiday season, and I want you guys to know my top Christmas movies. It was hard to choose, but I narrowed it down to pretty much half of the Christmas movies. So, the movies I want to tell you, the movies that I have to watch every single year, and I feel like I just watched them, but I didn't because I watched them a year ago and now the year is up. I want to tell you about my top 12 movies. My son had to be in the video, but my 12th favorite Christmas movie would be Jingle All the Way. I absolutely love this movie. Um, they filmed it up in Minneapolis, some of it, and it's kind of cool because I've been to some of the places that they've been to. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's an awesome movie. Um, my top 11 Christmas movie, uh, and not many people have heard about this, was I'll Be Home for Christmas with, Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. It's basically he doesn't want to go home for Christmas, and then um, his parent or his dad bribes him to come home, so he ends up coming home just in time, you know, to make it home for Christmas with his family. But if you guys haven't seen this, that would be that. Um, another one of my favorites is Michael Keaton, Jack Frost. I finally found this movie, like, super cheap, so I just bought it. But this is a movie I actually do watch every single year. Um, it's kind of a sad movie in the beginning and in the end, but it's a good movie. Definitely recommend seeing that um, if you enjoy that. So this was a hard decision. Um, because there's three of them together. If it was just the one, this one would have been a little bit higher in my favorite movies. But, um, since there's two other ones combined and it's hard to choose the Christmas ones, I just had to have it choose this. So, my favorite movie, uh, of the 12, number, what, 8? 10, I don't know, 8. Um, would be the Santa Claus. I love this movie. It came out in like 96, I think. Um, but I remember seeing this with my family for the first time when we got our TV and VHS player together. But yeah, love the Santa Claus. Um, I do like the second one. It's a cute one. Um, it's a little bit different. And then there's a third one, which is okay. Um, I still watch it. I watch them all together. But I definitely recommend you see, definitely see Santa Claus for sure. And then when you guys get a chance, you guys gotta watch this second and third movie. So my next choice would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, this would be my eighth one is Elf, and I know everybody loves Elf. Um, I like it. It is a movie I do watch every year. Um, but I just have other favorites that I like first. But Elf is hilarious. Um, you know, when I went to New York City one time, we tried finding the pizza place they were talking about in this, but we never did because there's so many pizza places. But yes, definitely recommend Elf. My seventh favorite movie is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. I absolutely love this movie. This movie, I cannot wait for my son to really watch for the first time. He's at that age where he's starting to learn, but definitely love this movie. I love everything about it. You know, they did awesome on the makeup, but just it just follows the original Dr. Seuss cartoon very well. But definitely check out How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, <laughs> he's looking at me making these weird noises. He likes a fake cry. But another movie. Daddy. You're silly. You be silly. You be silly. Um, the other movie I love is Muppets Christmas Carol. I had this when I was a little kid on VHS. I absolutely love this movie. Um, I cannot wait to play this. This is usually one of the first movies I actually watch, and I end up probably watching it again. I have to go deal with my son because he's being a little. But, <laughs> that's okay, he just ate all of his Cheerios and there's a commercial. We're watching Charlie Brown. But yes, definitely check out Muppet's Christmas Carol. Um, recommend, and this is again another hard decision, but Home Alone 1 and 2. I absolutely love this movie. Uh, when this movie came out, I had a huge crush on Macaulay Culkin. 
um, because his birthday is the same day as mine, so I was like, oh my god. But yes, definitely check it out. This is an awesome movie. They did make three and four, but it's not based off of Christmas, and it's kind of, it's okay. Um, if you're looking for a, like a romantic movie, The Holiday. Um, it's not truly a true Christmas movie, but I absolutely love it. It's about two people who, two ladies who get like depressed over the holidays and they just want to go somewhere and they end up finding true love right after that. But yes, definitely recommend The Holiday. I love this movie. It is so cute and it is kind of sad a little bit, but it's cute. Um, I don't know if you guys, my son is teething, so his shirt's completely wet. But I don't know if you guys remember this movie, but All I Want for Christmas, I used to watch this all the time when I was a kid, and then when I saw it on DVD one time, I'm like, oh my god, I have to get this! Um, it's about those two kids who want their family to get back together for Christmas, so they try anything they can to get it back. But yes, this is an ultimate good Christmas movie, great for the kids. Um, it's got Thora... Thora Birch on it, you know, she's um, the little girl that was in Hocus Pocus, um, yeah, is that neat? Yeah. yeah, um, Christmas Story, this is the true cl classic, I think t c or TBS or TNT plays this 24 hours on Christmas, um, I always turn this on, oh, I watch it a couple times, but I, when we will open presents as a Christmas Sometimes we have this on in the background just to listen to, and then we watch it while our family's getting ready, you know, to keep us occupied. But I love this movie. It's an ultimate classic movie. They did make a Christmas Story 2. Um, it's not as good as this one, but yes, definitely recommend it if you guys haven't seen it. And my all-time favorite Christmas movie that I've kind of made it a tradition to watch every Christmas Eve with my family or my husband. My son is going to watch it when he gets a little bit older because it's a little too old. It's a little too big for him. But if you guys haven't guessed it, it's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love this movie. Um, I cannot get enough of this. This is one of my all-time favorite. Don't eat that, sweetie. No, no. No, no. But, yes, I absolutely love this movie. Um, it, yeah, you're laughing the whole entire time between, you know, the cat starting up the Christmas tree on fire, <gasps> them eating cat food, um, <laughs> Uncle Eddie, you know, hilarious. But definitely recommend that. If you guys did... Um, like my movie choice, you know, let me know if there's any of your favorite movies. Put it in the comments below of what movies that you like to see. Um, it was, it was a hard decision. There's probably, there's a lot more that I love, but these are the ones I watch every single year. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, you know, put, say, say thumbs up. Say give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up everybody. Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah! Um, if you guys did like this video, give it a thumbs up, you know, help him out. He likes it when you guys give us a thumbs up. Yeah! But if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button, you know, because I'm trying to get as much subscribers as I can before the year is over. He's just so happy, happy, happy. Say happy, happy. Yeah, pretty. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys later with more of my top favorites of random items. And I hope to have you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching.